Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eve and today we have a kind of random chat, although it's not that random, um, about why we read. To give a bit of a background story for this, um, I'm planning to do recommendation videos for you very soon and I just thought, okay, I just asked my friends what they would like to uh, hear from me as recommendations and I got quite wild answers, uh, things that I would never have anticipated. So um, I thought, okay, then I will just ask them, you know, why they uh, why they would uh, ask me to give them these kind of recommendations. And so I asked them why they read and therefore what they read, actually. And I got quite a, a lot of interesting answers and um, I want to connect that also with what why I'm reading and what you can anticipate uh, for the future here on my channel in these recommendation videos that I'm uh, preparing for you. So I asked 11 people who do read uh, because of course I have a lot of uh, other people who are not that interested in uh, reading. So and um, um, there are a, a couple of common themes, uh, themes that you will probably recognize from yourself as well. And um, yeah, I just want to uh, give you the results uh, from the survey, so to say. Um, seven of 11 people said that um, escapism is very important for them when they are reading. Um, they want to immerse themselves in a story. Um, they want to live the adventures of other characters, so to say, and also live life through these characters because their own life might be not that interesting. Um, six of eleven people said they read because they want to relax. Six of them want to be entertained. Uh, six of them also want to be challenged and um, find some kind of stimulation for their brain. And um, question their own life and the way they live when they read. Uh, we have um, also lots of people who want to get educated about a certain topic, which of course then means usually that they read nonfiction. And we had two people here who um, wanted to have some kind of a self-improvement of their own character. That usually is then non-fiction as well that they are reading and uh, we had two of them who want to find or support their spirituality um, want to learn a positive approach to the world and also um, sharing a kind of appreciation for life um, that was something I found quite interesting we have uh, three of them who also studied literature or want to be writers and are writing themselves. And there we have on the one hand those who uh, have like a critical approach and try to absorb the writing style of other authors um, that might help them with their own stuff. And on the other hand, someone else said they cannot read nonfiction because uh, they are too critical about it because they <laughs> studied so they always criticize everything that they uh, find there and so it's quite hard for them to read uh, fiction which I found was a very interesting um, answer as well. So we have... Um, I, I picked out some four comments that I thought are very interesting actually and um, uh, that I would not have um, expected from the people that actually said that to me. So we have uh, one uh, person who said um, she wants uh, realism in what she's reading um, because she wants to see what kind of things she can do in life, what kind of things are possible, and that's why she cannot waste time with fiction. Interesting. Um, we also had someone who said they want to find peace with themselves and the world when they are reading stuff. We have an opposition reader, <laughs> someone who always reads or wants to read the stuff that people tell them they would never or tell him they he would never read, actually, because it's unlikely a topic that um, he would be interested in. 
Um, and so he is always wanting to pick that up to either prove the people wrong or to understand why they thought it's not a topic for them. Um, and uh, we had someone who said uh, she wants to engage with characters, but it shouldn't be too dark because the more realistic things are, uh, the more depressing it gets for her. So that was quite interesting for me. Um, when I asked for uh, topics, you know, well, before I did the uh, survey, I also had like a friend, a friend of mine who told me she would like to know what, uh, you know, me recommending books, like uh, what, for example, uh, what would be my book boyfriend? And I was like, I never thought about that. <laughs> um, and uh, there you can see how personal our approach to reading is actually. It's um, connected to who we are as people and what kind of story our life is um, has. And um, that we are not the same in this. So what do I read? And uh, why do I read? Uh, I have studied comparative literature, so I have um, a critical approach to the literature that I'm reading as well. Um, I'm a bit like Neil Gaiman as well, who says, you know, we are... People want to hear stories and people have the urge to tell stories and convey truth via the stories that they are um, telling. And uh, so because I'm a writer as well, I feel that as well. No matter what kind of uh, genre I'm picking up, it's the topics actually that are important. I'm not, although uh, fantasy is um, a genre that I really love and you will see a lot on my channel, it's not the only one. And it's not that I always want to read about fantastic stuff and uh, recommend, ten, uh, recommend uh, fantastic stuff because uh, I'm really interested also in the drama and the uh, realism in life as well. Um, what else? I think that with me, the kind of way I have been growing up and um, the books that I have been reading already when I was very young um, have something to do with how I pick my books as well. And um, yeah, I just uh, did some kind of a, a small list here um, so that you have a feeling of how I approach the books or how I pick the books actually that um, I in the end uh, put on my shelf and will review for you and that you will see in the recommendation videos later that I will do for you. Um, I always long to be somewhere else. So I love to read about traveling or like to read about people who are on the road. And um, there you have also very often the outsider theme that I really love because people who do not stay in one place and put put in one place um, are not usually not that um, settled and they are not usually not that happy with themselves when they are um, like in a static situation so they are always you know on the road they seek for uh, input and for somewhere else to find themselves. So um, I'm very interested in the outsider theme that includes uh, witches, gangs, rebels, and also like feminists if you want to. Everything that has something to do with gender and which is rather outstanding is uh, very interesting to me. Um, I'm very interested in the topic of darkness in loads of different ways. You will see that. Um, so you have, so to say, psychology that uh, draws me, uh, what we do not want to talk about, you know, what we uh, keep secrets about and uh, what we feel, what we value. Um, there you have my connection to thrillers and fantasy, right? And uh, what we think about good and evil as well. That's very interesting to me. Uh, 
I studied cultural history as well, so I'm interested in history. And they're also connected with the topics that you just heard. Um, I want to know, you know, where we come from. Um, our heritage as a society, our uh, evolution as a society, and so also the connection to the tribes we come from. Um, because I think that it really affects the way we are today. And if you have like this tribalism, you have my interest in mythology, in um, the Celts, in Norse mythology, in um, uh, occultism as well. Um, where you get to the gothic that I love so much because I am a gothic actually. So, and close to gothic picture, uh, fic, uh, fiction is always like the dark and you have some kind of um, fetish and things that we fear and that are make, making us uncomfortable in a way. And, um, and again, like in the beginning, what we do not talk about, because these are things like our sexuality or um, uh, the things that we fear, you know, ghost stories um, are always about the things that we suppress or that we see, the things that we cannot explain, right? That's also some kind of the supernatural that's uh, uh, like touching there. Um, and I like weird stuff. Everything that's out of the ordinary um, storytelling that is out of the ordinary. I like different kinds of formats, different kinds of language used, um, also plots, like very strange stuff, um, what usually people would not read because they think, uh, okay, it makes no sense in a way. Um, I like that because I like to challenge myself as well when I'm reading and, um, also like characters or themes that you usually do not read about. Um, that's interesting to me as well, because why do I always have to read about the same things? And what I really hate is when you actually can predict what's happening. I don't like that. I'm not, I'm not so much of a trope reader, actually, although it's very often in fantasy that you have these kind of tropes, like, you know, the chosen one, uh, etc. Um, that are produced again and again and again and that's you know people who like um certain kinds of um books they've tried to find certain kinds of stories that they relate to and um for me it's in a way like this usually with drama because i try to find uh people or to see characters that are closer to myself um, and I think they're not uh, represented very well or very often in literature um, but on the other hand I search for the completely different the opposite of uh, who I am or also what I do not know yet about so all of these topics can be in non-fiction as well as in fiction and um, I also like film a lot and um, when I read a book, I actually see that as a film. And when I write um, my own stuff, I always put it like it could be a script or a film. I want this to be in your head as a film, the way I see it in my head when I write it. And I think this is what you will see soon in um, my recommendation videos. I will go to... Uh, recommend um, to people who are usually not the audience for these recommendation videos. So you will see some subcultures here um, that I will talk to and maybe you will find something interesting for yourself as well there, even if you are not a metal fan or you're not a goth or you're not um, LGBTQ plus um, but these are just like my thoughts about uh, uh, the whole topic of why we are reading and how personal this is actually and um, I'm looking forward to showing you the first recommendations video and this will come very soon to you and um, I hope you will also have the uh, 
uh, the fun that I will have uh, doing these videos because I already know which one will be the first one. And um, uh, let's see whether you maybe find something um, in my videos or in my recommendations that is different than what you usually see on YouTube. Um, most of the things will be rather adult, not um, much of uh, a young adult, although you have like the fantasy stuff that I'm reading is very often a young adult as well. Um, but there are like uh, strong topics that uh, you will find in the books that I'm uh, recommending and uh, I hope you will enjoy this. Um, I'm going out now. You uh, probably <laughs> could see that from how I was dressed, that this is not exactly how I'm dressing at home. Um, I'm going out uh, trying to enjoy the day, although it's quite rainy. And um, yeah, I see you soon with the first recommendation video.